Hello. I'm uh, laying here on the couch. The blanket. Uh, trying to shield the direct light from my eyes. But I have the direct light on because then I'll be lit for the video. But that means that I'm looking right into the light in an otherwise dark room. Where I had been meditating, just fine. But in order to see me, I turned the light on, which went right into my eyes. So, anyway, it probably looks weird to you. So, I've just been spending a little bit of time. Um, Just uh, feeling laying on my back and feeling the grand broad scope of the skies, the cosmos, uh, the vault of the atmosphere. And then slowly shifting my awareness to the fact of the vast empty beneath me on the other side of the earth, They're 42 minutes away. So first to lay down and here in the meditation, uh, become aware of the passive solidity of the mass of the body and its and its uh, experience of being supported by the earth. Then you begin to, you know, really, uh, really feel the vastness of the out there, you know, the, the, the great sort of hemisphere of infinity and, uh, you know, as you get a sense of its fastness, there's sort of a, a codependent awareness of your minusculity, your frailty, your finiteness, your immeasurably immeasurableness. So it becomes broader, grander, massive, and you become smaller by comparison. And you're breathing into the heart, you know. So you're trying to make a, a shift from no awareness to awareness here, to a, a felt awareness here. Then when you begin to really feel that, the meditation, you begin to expand your front burner awareness to the idea that that massiveness, that, that I don't know if you could see, but I, uh, I'm still crying, so I, uh, eyes are still running and uh, you shift it to being aware of it's just being half of it the other half is beneath you and uh, It's 
you go from uh, not being aware to being aware to being aware there. Uh, there's uh, twin sensations of being minuscule in the face of the uh, imperceptibly immense. And then you start to bring into your awareness the idea that what you've been facing, that massiveness, is only half of it. Very precisely speaking, the other half is beneath you. Then you begin to re realize. Oh, I'm still wondering. And begin to re realize that. Oh, you're in the precise middle of it all. To the point from which your infinity, your affinity is measured in relation to the infinities. If I can move in every direction, infinity. It means you're right in the middle. This isn't to get a psychologically narcissistic sense established. It's just to get a sense that you're within that thing. Initially, you can have a sense as I intimated that you're finite, it's infinite, you're smaller, you, you, the sense of self is receding as that uh, also recedes but into the distance meaning grows. And then you make this shift where what's beneath you is as much as what's above you despite that sense of being supported and embraced by the earth in terms of your body's mass you rest in the inertia of the unknown and your mind shifts into the knowable beyond that to the unknowable and then you knit together knowables about these unknowables I know I'm not making a lot of sense to you but anyway once we bring into present awareness the idea of the, the empty the infinite the other half of the cosmos beneath us and realize that we're within that thing. To some extent, that duality collapses of it's massive, I'm nothing. Anyway, that's the meditation I was just doing. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.